Hi, I am Dr. Guru Prasad Hosokar, consultant neurologist at uh, Kolambesha Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. My special interest is uh, Parkinson disease and movement disorders. The diagnosis of Parkinson's disease is based on mostly clinical grounds. Typical resting tremors, starting with one side of the body and then progressing to the other side, radicanism on examination, rigidity on examination, typical age group, all makes the diagnosis more easier. But there are certain times where there are atypical features. So sometimes diagnosis of Parkinson's disease may be difficult in the initial part of the diagnosis. But the other aspect is that even if it is atypical Parkinson's or a typical Parkinson's disease, the treatment is almost the same. But if we are up, want to be absolutely sure, then we take help of some of the imaging modalities like MRI scans where in patients with uh, atypical Parkinsonism, there can be uh, atrophy of brain stem, highlighting uh, certain areas of atrophy in certain su structures of the brain like brain stem uh, in, in MSA or PSP. Or there can be cortical atrophy in, in a condition like CBGD, corticobasal ganglion atrophy. You can, you can have cortical atrophy uh, along with other clinical features of dementia and all. So we take the help of MRI imaging to diagnose this type of atypical Parkinson's disease. In typical Parkinson's disease, usually MRI doesn't show any uh, features of uh, degeneration early on. There can be later changes, but we don't depend on imaging. Sometimes we need to make diagnose, early diagnosis of these type of conditions, the differentiation between essential tremors or and Parkinson's disease. Then we take uh, help of uh, nuclear scans like DAT scan or PET scans where you can see decreased uh, uptake of uh, dopa in basal ganglia in patients with Parkinson's disease. So we take help of nuclear scan or imaging for early diagnosis of uh, Parkinson's disease. Otherwise for common type of Parkinson's disease where they behave typically in clinical presentation, we don't need any investigation modalities. Uh, having said that, there are other secondary types of Parkinson's disease where there is a rapid onset to Parkinsonism. So we need to take uh, help of blood investigation like you need to check for sodium, you need to check for imaging to rule out any subtle hematoma which can present like Parkinsonism. So uh, when there is an atypical presentation of Parkinsonism, early, I mean rapid onset Parkinsonism, we need to take help of uh, investigations in the form of uh, electrolytes or imaging or some of the atypical features like early onset, like engage Parkinsonism, we need to rule out other neurodegenerative conditions like Wilson's disease or other uh, neurodegenerative disorders uh, which have genetic basis. We need to look at this when there is an atypical presentation.